I know many of you heard about what happened in Syria. What happened in Syria is a horrible act. So I want to start off by saying my condolences to the people who were, I don't even, that, that don't even seem like that makes sense. Like that's, that's not enough to say my condolences. These people were chemically attacked. Probably the worst pain imaginable was suffered by men, women, and children in Syria today. So to just say you give your condolences, nah, not really cutting it. How about saying my heart grieves for you? I can't imagine what you're going through. To anyone who lost someone today in Syria, I just want you to know if you're watching this or by, by way of someone or maybe by telepathy, I just want you to know that we do not co-sign us, regular U.S. citizens, do not co-sign what happened today in Syria at all. And if we had the power, if we didn't live in an oligarchy, if we did not live in a deep state situation where our CIA, we don't know who to trust, these Democratic, the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, like we don't know who to trust. We don't have a voice, really. It looks like all of us are just don't care, but we do care. It's just that we get smothered, and they're doing more of that smothering. But let me get back to the, the, the story. Because it really eats me up. The White House blames Obama air weakness for a suspected chemical attack in Syria that killed dozens. Today, Syria reportedly experiences deadliest chemical attack since 2013, which came in the form of an airstrike. The White House moved quickly to condemn the attacks with Press Secretary Sean Spicer telling reporters during a closed press gaggle that the attacks cannot be cannot go ignored. However, he also blamed the weakness of the Obama administration and the way that the Obama administration dealt with these threats. Now, this is all according to CNN. Here goes a statement made by Sean Spicer. Today, chemical attack in Syria against innocent people, including women and children, is reprehensible and cannot be ignored by the civilized world. These heinous actions by the Bashar al-Assad regime are a consequence of the past administration's weakness and irresolution. President Obama said in 2012 he would establish a red line against the use of chemical weapons, and then he did nothing. The United States stands with our allies across the globe to condemn, condemn this intolerable act. Uh, footnote, France also responded to news of the attack by calling for an emergency meeting. And also in 2013, Syria agreed to destroy its chemical weapons stockpiles. Do you hear that? Today's reports indicate that ser sarin, an extremely potent nerve agent, was used in Tuesday's attack. This is the first major chemical attack in Syria since Donald Trump took office. Here's how he felt about the subject. You just heard how he felt about the subject. Um, now, as I stated before even reading you that, horrific story regular citizens we feel handicapped we feel like we are paralyzed from doing anything that can impact this situation in syria and of course we have no control over what our government does at some point at some point um we're gonna have to see the transition of blame to trump from obama but this is a good point whether you're a Trump fan or you're an Obama fan or you're just a fan of truth, the truth is, in this situation, that is true. It is true that Obama did draw a line in the sand and then kind of erase it. I don't know what the pressure was for him to do that, though. I don't know. They agreed. I don't know how you make them stick to an agreement. So we're going to do a lot of finger pointing and all of that going on. People are more worried about posturing, more worried about being right or being wrong than actually saving the lives of people. And that's what burns me up about politics. And that's what burns me up about this situation all the way. So who you want to blame? I don't know. How about we blame the, the how about we blame Syria or Assad, right? Assad for doing it. How about we not blame Trump or Obama for stopping them from doing it? Did we provide the sarin? I don't think we did. We need to do more to stop it. We need to team up with our allies in order to stop this. I don't know how we do it, but that's what we have to do if we have any humanity at all. Let me know what you think in the comment section, YouTube Periscope. Let me know what you think. I don't know what else you can say. 
Let's not point fingers. Let's not play politics right freaking now. That's what you say. That's what we mean. And look, any, any, any independent media folks out there, I wish that you would listen or at least consider what I'm saying. Because this is not the time for you to play, oh, I'm going to ride for Trump or I'm going to ride for Obama or whatever. 